Kitty Lakey and I'm doing my project for reproductive anatomy. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the seven cardinal movements, pelvic stations, and in relation to those, cervical dilation. So let's begin. So we're going to start out with the baby in the LOA position. So the first thing is babies are initially belatable. You can feel their head and move them. So we're going to have engagement, which is where the baby's head tucks into the pelvic brim. This is typically floating, belatable is a negative five for the station. When they become engaged, they move down to the level of the true pelvis and that's a zero station. So the head is no longer belatable. So you have engagement <clears throat> and descent which is where the baby moves further down <clears throat> into the true pelvis. Then, you've, then you will next, after the baby's head hits the mother's pelvic floor, the baby will flex the chin to the chest. This is called flexion. So you have a baby that is flexed, descended, and engaged. Those are the first three cardinal movements. Now this baby is at station zero because it is engaged in the true pelvis. So the next cardinal movement is internal rotation, which is where the baby will typically turn so that its head will fit through the diameter of the pelvis. So then, with the mother's pushing efforts, you're going to eventually start seeing extension of the baby's head. The baby's face, the baby will rock along the J curve and you will start to begin to see cervical dilation. It will start out as very small, like two centimeters, and then the baby continues to extend its head in an effort to be born. Cervical dilation will continue and continue, and you should be able to feel the posterior fawn out. So as you're assessing cervical dilation, you're looking at the sutures of the baby's head and cervical dilation. A typical pattern is two, four, six, eight, and then complete cervical dilation where you can't feel anything besides baby's head. At this point, the baby is further descended into the pelvic cavity and the pelvic station is probably gonna be plus two to plus three. So as the baby is continuing the extension movement, you will also achieve internal rotation. This is also called restitution. Usually the head is born and the baby will rotate towards the mother's thigh as the shoulders internally are rotating to the widest diameter <coughs> to be born. And then with the mother's pushing efforts, you're going to have expulsion and or birth. And voila, Happy birthday, baby!